Class 7 English Chapter 2 A Gift of Chapels A Continuation of the Second Unit Good morning children Let us continue today with the second unit we have done yesterday This is page number 25 Okay Page number 25 Now let me start just as she stepped into the veranda, Mridu's eyes fell on the old looking chapels she had noticed when she arrived. Ravi, she whispered, whose are those? So Mridu had wanted to give some chapel to the beggar. And just as she stepped into the veranda, she saw the chapels that she had seen when she came to the house. Whose are those, Ravi? she asked. Ravi turned and glanced at the shabby-looking but sturdy old slippers. He beamed and nodded. They're just the right size, he said, picking them up. Mridu and Mina followed him nervously back to the garden. So they found a chapel of the right size. They found a chapel which they could give to the beggar. Here, said Ravi to the beggar, dropping the slippers in front of the old man. Wear this and don't come back. The beggar stared at the slippers, hurriedly flung his towel over his shoulder, pushed his feet into them and left, muttering a blessing to the children. In a minute, he had vanished around the corner of the street. So the beggar was very happy to get the chapels. Hmm? He could not believe his eyes. He stared at the chapels and he flung his towel over his shoulder and wore the chapels and left hurriedly before he was stopped before somebody asks and uh, somebody comes and takes the chapel back from him so in a minute he vanished the music master came out of the house and took an unappreciative look at the three of them sitting quietly under the tree playing marbles then he searched for his chapels in the veranda, where he had put them. Now, the music master, of course, he did not know that the chapel had been given away to the beggar by the children. Before he knew, he showed that he did not like the children. The children were playing marbles, but he, was, he disapproved of the children. Lali! He called after a few moments. She hurried up to him. Have you seen my chapels, my dear? I remember having kept them here. So the chapel has, where has the chapel gone? The chapel has been given away to the beggar. By whom? By the children. And now he is looking for the chapel. Does Lali know about it? Lali does not know because he was inside the room playing violin with the music master. Ravi, Mridu and Mina silently watched Lali and the music master search every corner of the veranda. He scurried around, looking over the railing and crouching near the flower pots to look between them. Brand new they were. I went all the way to Mount Road to buy them. He went on saying they cost a whole month's fees. Do you know? So children, they were looking for the... Uh, 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 Lali and the music master were looking for the chapel, but they could not find. And now look at the dishonesty of the music master. Hmm? He says it was brand new. Was it brand new? No, it was not brand new. It was old. Huh? He says it was brand new and it was so costly that it would cost the whole month's fees. So this is an exaggeration. Soon Lali went in to tell her mother... Rukumani appeared, looking harassed with Patti following her. Looking harassed. She is looking harassed because, because now she has to take the trouble of finding the chapel for the music master. Where could they be? It's really quite upsetting to think someone might have stolen them. So many vendors come to the door, worried Patti. So the vendors, many vendors come and they could have taken it, they could have stolen it. Rukamani caught sight of Ravi, Mridu and Mina sitting under, tree, under the tree. 
Have you children? She began, and then, seeing they were curiously quiet, went on more slowly. Seen anyone lurking around the veranda? A sharp, V-shaped line had formed between her eyebrows. Another straight, tighter one appeared in place of her usually soft, pleasant mouth. Rukumani was angry, thought Mridu with a shiva. She wouldn't be so upset if she knew about a poor beggar with sores on his feet. She tried to tell herself. Now, Rukumani saw that the chapel was gone. Rukumani saw that the children were there. And Rukumani knew that the children has got something to do with the disappearance of the chapel of the music master. Now, Mridu is a very sweet little girl. She is shivering because she feels that Rukumani is angry. Because she could see a V-shaped line in between her eyebrows. That means Rukumani is frowning. And her lips were tight. Before it used to be so pleasant, but it is one line now, tight. And this little girl is trying to tell herself that Rukumani would not be angry. Rukumani cannot be so bad. She would not be angry if she knew that a poor beggar had sores on his feet. If she had known, she would have also done what the children had done for the beggar. Taking a deep breath, she cried, Rukumani, there was a beggar here, poor thing. He had such boils on his feet. So, she told Rukumani, So? said Rukumani grimly, turning to Ravi. You gave the music master's chapels to that old beggar who turns up here? So, she knew. Rukumani knew that, yes, the children had given away the chapel to the beggar. Children these days, groaned Patti, fed up. Hmm? Amma, didn't you tell me about... Amma, didn't you tell me about Karna, who gave away everything he had, even his... Gold earrings. He was so kind and generous. So, they are citing the example of Karna, Danvir Data Karna, who gives away everything, even his earrings. Rukumini said, Silly, Karna didn't give away other people's things. He only gave away his own. She is right. Huh? She is right. But my chapel wouldn't have fitted the beggar's feet, Ravi rushed brashly. And Amma, if they did fit, would you really not have minded? So Ravi is curious. I would have, I, I wanted to give mine, but it would not fit him. And he continued. If they did fit, if my, if Ravi's chapels fitted, would have fitted the beggar, uh, would the mother not really have minded? That was a question Ravi was asking. Ravi, said Rukumani. Very angry now. Go inside this minute. She hurried indoors and brought out Gopu Mama's hardly worn new chapels. These should fit you, sir. Please put these on. I am so sorry. My son has been very naughty. The music master's eyes lit up. He put them on, trying not to look so happy. Now, the music master is happy, but he is pretending that he is not very happy. His eyes lit up at seeing the new slippers of Gopu Mama. Remember? Even if he says that they were brand new, it was not new. The sleepers were not new. And now in place of the old sleeper, he was getting the new sleeper that belonged to Gopu Mama. That is why his eyes lit up. Okay, But he was trying not to look so happy. He is not so honest. Well, I suppose these will have to do. These days children have no respect for elders. What to do? So, music master said that, okay, this will do. Huh. And he continued, A Hanuman incarnate. Only Rama can save such naughty fellow. So, A Hanuman incarnate. He is calling the children monkeys. Rukumani's eyes flashed. She didn't seem to like Ravi being called a monkey, even a holy monkey. She stood stiff and straight by the front door. It was clear she wanted him to leave quickly. So the mother was angry when her child was called a monkey even if it was a holy monkey, that is Hanuman. So she stood stiffly and straight by the front door, indicating that the t 
teacher should leave now. When he had clattered off in his new chapels, she said, Mrityu, come in and have some tiffin. Honestly, how do you children think of such things? Thank God your Gopu Mama doesn't wear these chapels, his chapels to work. So, Gopu Mama doesn't wear the chapels to work and he won't miss it. <coughs> As she walked towards the kitchen with Mridu, As she walked towards the kitchen with Mridu and Meena, she suddenly began to laugh. But he is always in such a hurry to throw off his shoes and socks and get into his chapels as soon as he comes home. What's your mama going to say this evening when I tell him I give his chapels to the music master? So he's, she's laughing to herself. Well, if he comes to know, if Gopuka mama comes to know that the chapels have been given to the music master and how it has been given, what is he going to say? Okay, Gopu Mama will be needing the chapels as he comes back from office. It is lucky that he does not wear it to office because if he wears to office, he'll be missing it. So, it will take some time to replace it, isn't it? Now, this is the end of the story. And uh, children, um, <clears throat> I would like you to write one homework. What is a homework? It's a very uh, simple homework. Uh, why did why did the beggar leave very fast? Why did the beggar leave very fast, very quickly? Remember, the beggar did not leave when he was asked to leave. He took some time. He wanted to take rest, but he left very hurriedly. Why did he do it? It's a very simple question. Please do it. Thank you. Have a good day.